Hello, it's Terry from Danu's Irish Herb Garden and it's a lovely sunny bright day today after a couple of days of rain. So I'm just outside harvesting um, just a little mixture of plants that are around the house. So I'm just taking some self-heal here at the moment and um, I have some other plants that I've already picked. But what I really want to talk to you about today is plantain. Plantago lanceolata. So this one is for you, Wendy, and I hope that you're recovering from your summer cold. So I just want to talk about plantain because in Irish it's called slan loose, which means herb of healing. And it pretty much is the only plant you need, really. Um, it works from head to toe and it works on almost all of the systems in the body. You may know by now, I don't like weeding and I don't like a too tidy garden because if I'm to pull all these so-called weeds out, I might need them tomorrow or I might need them the next day. And because I have used them regularly, it feels really ungrateful and bad-mannered to suddenly rip them out. So I'm covered in plantain here in this part of the garden. And the ladies mantle likewise they're competing for space but they're both wild and they've both come here and so i just let them get on with it but to talk about plantain if we work the way down the body um, first of all it is a food as well you can chop the young leaves up into a salad and you can take the seed heads off here and sprinkle them into a salad or into soups or stews and you get a little bit of fiber so it's related to psyllium husks that you might buy in your health store, in your health food store. But you can just use this in the same way. So if we start with the head, if you have sore eyes, you can juice the leaves and drip the juice into your eyes and it relieves dryness and soreness. You can also put the juice into ears and it will aid with in relieving earache. If you are somebody who gets sinus complaints, the beauty of plantain is it will work with both dry sinus issues and wet sinus issues. And that's because it has the properties of being astringent and emulsant. So that means it's going to dry up where you need to be dried up and it's going to soothe and kind of moisturize the dry areas that need to be soothed and moisturized and the plant is intelligent enough to know what it is that you need so if you have either of those conditions you can be happy using plantain and you can take it as a tea or a tincture for that for that purpose or you could make a salve and just rub it on the sinus area and it will it will help uh, if we move into the ears again, if children have glue ear, it's a really good way to, to relieve that buildup of guitar in the ears and um, the congestion. So the other thing then about um, plantain is for the respiratory system. It's helpful for people with asthma because it's an antispasmodic, so it helps the lungs to relax. It is, again, because it's demulsant, therefore it's very soothing. The, the lung tissue that may be becoming um, sore from a lot of coughing, say if you had bronchitis, the plantain's demulsant qualities are going to soothe it and make it feel much better. But again, likewise, if you have a lot of phlegm and you're kind of bubbling away in the lungs, this plantain will dry it up because it's astringent. If we move down to the digestive system, Again, those qualities of um, soothing and drying are going to be very helpful depending on what your personal issue is. But one of the other things about plantain is it helps with assimilation of nutrients. So if, for example, you had a digestive problem maybe where you have a lot of diarrhea, because it's astringent, it's going to help dry that up. And at the same time, it's going to draw the nutrients from the food and you will benefit from the nutrients instead of them being flushed out. Its cooling demulsant properties are also going to help with urinary issues. So it's, it's just incredible because it does so much with the body systems. 
Now, the other thing about it as a first aid plant is it's a great wound healer because it will stop bleeding. So if you're out and about and you get a cut and it's bleeding, you can apply um, a leaf and it will stop the bleeding. But what's beautiful about this plant is it is going to draw out any foreign bodies, any dirt, any poisons, any, um, oh, what you call it, bits of gravel or anything at all like that. Or if you're using a dirty tool or implement and the dirt is embedded into the wound, it's going to draw it out. It's going to draw out insect venom and stings. So it's, it's just wonderful to keep it growing in your garden because you never know when you might have a little accident and it's here to heal. So apart from um, stopping bleeding, it's going to draw out all of those impurities that might lead to an infection and it will leave your wound in the perfect, closed up, healed condition after you've used it. And going back to the body systems, I've just remembered, it's also very beneficial to the liver as well because um, it works with the liver to cleanse your blood. And while it's doing that, it's going to help you if you have liver issues such as jaundice or hepatitis. So um, I just can't get over how, how wonderful it is, how effective it is, how useful it is. It's just so beneficial to have it. So you can understand why I don't like to just pull it out because I've used this a lot. I've used it. Um, my husband had a little lump on his back and the doctor said it was just a growth, nothing to worry about. It wasn't um, malign in any way. But if it got uncomfortable, they would take him in and remove it by surgery. So what we did is we made a poultice of leaves twice a day for about a week. And eventually this little lump on his shoulder erupted and um, a lot of fluid came out and it just healed over beautifully. So there's no lump there anymore. He didn't have to undergo surgery. He didn't have to risk anesthesia and he's in perfect condition. I've used it myself on insect bites, particularly spider bites, because I, um, I tend to react to spider bites and I get big swellings and this just takes it straight down and draws everything out and it's so soothing. It's so soothing, I can't tell you. When you get horrible itches from bites and stings, this is the plant to go for. And what you do when you're outside is you make a spit poultice, so you just chew it up. It's quite bitter, so that tells you how good it is for the, for the digestive system. When you have it, when you have it chewed up into a spit poultice, you'd put it on to your little wound and you would try and hold it in place with a leaf wrapped around if that's all that you had. And that's it. First aid, health, everything you need pretty much is in one plant. If you only had one plant, I'd say, today I'm saying, it would be plantain. I hope you find this really empowering because, you know, where we live, for example, we're six miles from the nearest town. So if we did have an injury or we had an illness, this is the plant we can use immediately. It's completely safe and non-toxic. There are no contraindications with it. Safe for children, safe for everybody. Very worthwhile to make a tincture so that you're prepared for winter if you have chest complaints. But definitely to include it in any digestive tonic or respiratory tonic. Um, what I like to do is make a digestive with brandy and I just soak different herbs in it. So usually if I make a tincture, it's a single plant that I tincture because different plants have different properties and you want to be specific about what you're doing. But if you just want to make a digestive tonic that you might take a sip of before meals, you could put dandelion in, plantain, yarrow, many other plants. They can just go into your brandy and you're kind of making a medicinal rump tough. Anyway, I must get back to my harvesting. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day and 
I hope this is of some benefit to you. If you, it is actually in my first book, The Weed Handbook, Volume 1. If you'd like to get a copy of that, it's on the website. I think I've got to go because somebody's arriving. Bye for now. Oh, Jazz and Brock, come on.